In this video, we are going to discuss about Greyback normal form. In short, we can call it as GNF. A context-free grammar is said to be in GNF if the productions are of the form A implies A alpha, where A is a non-terminal, non-terminal. This small A is terminal. Alpha means uh, uh, a list of non-terminals, one or more non-terminals, one or more non-terminals. So we can say that a context-free grammar is in GNF if the productions are of the form A implies A alpha. This A means non-terminal or variable, this small A means terminal, this alpha means one or more non-terminals. Okay. Uh, let us see how we can convert context-free grammar into the GNF. The first step is, first we have to simplify the grammar. Simplify the grammar. That means, if the grammar contains useless symbols or if the grammar contains uh, epsilon productions, unit productions, then we have to eliminate them. So, we have to eliminate uh, useless symbols. We have to eliminate epsilon productions. We have to eliminate unit productions. So, so that the grammar will be simplified or reduced or minimized. And the second step is check whether the grammar is in Chomsky normal form or not. If the grammar is not in Chomsky normal form, then we need to convert that grammar into the CNF. So, we can perform GNF only when the grammar is simplified grammar and only when the grammar is in CNF form, Chomsky normal form, okay. And, uh, uh, and uh, the next step is, uh, the next step is, uh, the non-terminals, non-terminals of the grammar, non-terminals of the grammar are to be replaced by A1, A2, A3, so on. If there are 5 non-terminals in the grammar, then those 5 non-terminals are replaced by A1, A2, A3, A4, A5 likewise. A1 means uh, the starting symbol of the grammar. And uh, the next step is, uh, if the production is in the form AA implies AJ beta, then we have to check 3 conditions. The first condition is, if I less than J, if I less than J, I means this uh, subscript, J means this subscript. If I less than J, then we have to leave the production as it is. So initially we have to leave that production as it is and later we have to perform the substitution. And the second condition is, if I greater than J, then we have to perform the substitution. Then we have to perform the substitution. That means if the production is in the form AI implies AJ beta, then in place of this AJ, we have to substitute AJ productions, okay. And the next one is, I is equal to J. If I is equal to J, then it means that the grammar contains left recursion. Then we have to eliminate the left recursion. So likewise, we have to repeat the process until all the productions are in GNF form. So GNF form means, Capital A implies small a alpha. So non-terminal implies terminal followed by followed by one or more non-terminals. Okay. Or zero or more non-terminals. Okay. If you say A implies A, so this is in GNF form. If you say A implies A B, this is in GNF form. If you say A implies A B C, this is in GNF form. So here we have only one terminal. Here after terminal we have one non-terminal. After terminal, we have two non-terminals. So, alpha means zero or more non-terminals. Zero or more non-terminals. Now, let us see an example uh, based on the GNF. So, convert uh, CGF grammar, context-free grammar into the GNF form. Let us see the problem here. Let we have two productions. The first production is S implies AA or zero. And the second production is a implies SS R1. So, this is the problem. S implies A R0. Next, A implies SS R1. 
So first we have to check whether is there are any useless symbols or not. Here the starting symbol uh, produces only one symbol A. A contains a production. Uh, so there are no useless symbols. This grammar doesn't contain epsilon production. This grammar doesn't contain unit production. So we can say that this grammar is the simplified one. And the second step is we have to check whether this uh, grammar is in uh, uh, Chomsky normal form or not. So this grammar is in uh, Chomsky normal form only. So there is no problem. So next uh, uh, we have to replace uh, yes with replace yes with a one and replace a with a two a with a two. So now the grammar contains in place of yes we have to write a one a one implies a two a two are zero. Next a two implies what is a in place of uh, in place of a we have to write a two a two implies yes means a one. So a one a one are one. A1, A1, R1. Let us consider the first production. What is the first production? A1 implies A2, A2, R0. This 1 is nothing but I value. I is equal to 1. This A is nothing but, uh, this 2 is nothing but J value. Here 1 is less than 2. I is less than J. So we have to leave this production as it is. After calculating A2 value, we have to substitute here. So leave this production as it is. So let us assume that this production is 1. Okay. So next let us consider the second production. The second production is A2 implies A1, A1 or 1. Here what is I value? I value is 2 and what is A value? J value is 1. So that means 2 is greater than 1. I is greater than J. So now what we have to do is we have to substitute. We know what is A1 value. Substitute. Substitute a1 in a2 what is uh, here we have a1 so a2 implies a2 implies what is a1 here what is a1 a1 means a2 a2 or 0 so what is a1 a2 a2 and after this we have a1 so write that a1 as it is or we have one more uh, production that is 0 so 0 into a1, so 0 into a1, 0 into a1, so this is nothing but a1 value, a2, a2, a1 and next 0 into a1, next write this one as it is, write this one as it is. So now let's check whether this is in GNF form or not, if we observe this production, after terminal we have one non-terminal, here uh, we have one terminal, so these two productions are in GNF form. But this production is not in GNF form. Why? Because before this uh, we must have some terminal. Here what is I value? I value is 2. What is J value? J value is also 2. So this is I value. This is J value. So if I, I and J are equal. Then we can say that here we have left recursion. So we have to eliminate the left recursion. How to eliminate the left recursion? So we know the formula. If the production is in the form a implies A alpha by beta, then we have to replace that production with A implies beta A dash, where A dash implies alpha A dash or epsilon. So we have to remember this formula. So this beta is nothing but constant uh, or that means some uh, variables or uh, uh, some non-terminals or terminals or combinations of both. Here 0 A1 is nothing but beta 1 value. 1 is nothing but beta 2 value. Here this is nothing but A value and this is nothing but what? A value. These two are equal. These two are equal. And this one A to A1 is nothing but alpha. A implies A. This is nothing but alpha value. A alpha by beta. So what is the formula? A implies beta A dash. Here what is A value? A2. A2 implies beta A dash. Beta A dash. Here we have... Uh, here we have two beta values. Here we have two beta values. The first beta value is 0 a1, 0 a1 beta a dash. Let us assume that a dash is uh, nothing but b2 value. It is our choice. We can take a dash also. There is no problem. Okay. So in place of this a dash, let us assume that this is a2. a2 or 
what is another beta value 1 so 1 into a dash a dash means I'm sorry this is nothing but what b2 value 1 into what is a dash value let us assume that a dash is b2 so where a dash implies what is a dash b2 implies alpha a dash what is alpha value a2 e1 a2 a1 a dash what is a dash b2 or epsilon here the grammar contains epsilon now we have to eliminate the epsilon production by substituting epsilon in place of the b2 so let us eliminate a epsilon a2 implies first we have to write these two productions as it is in order to eliminate the epsilon production let us write the two productions as it is 0 a1 b2 or 1 b2 now in place of b2 substitute epsilon 0 1 into epsilon is nothing but 0 a1 or 1 into uh, epsilon is nothing but 1 next b2 is equal to here also we have b2 uh, so let us write this production as it is first a2 a1 b2 or in place of this b2 substitute epsilon a2 a1 into epsilon is nothing but a2 a1 now let us observe the productions of a2 0 a1 b2 so we have terminal after terminal we have two non terminals so this is in gnf form terminal followed by one non terminal terminal followed by one non one non terminal and next we have uh, uh, terminal so the productions of a2 are in gnf form so let us assume that this is 2 this is 3 okay so now let us substitute a2 productions in a1 so what is a1 a1 means a2 a2 by 0 so in place of this a2 substitute these productions so what is a1 value a1 means a2 a2 by 0 a2 a2 by 0 a1 means a2 a2 by 0 so a1 means substitute a2 value in a1 so a1 implies so in place of this a2 substitute so 0 a1 b2 a2 next we have a2 we have to write that fraction as it is next 1 b2 let us write a2 as it is next 0 a1 0 a1 a2 next 1 a2 next we have 0 let us write this 0 as it is if we observe a2 a1 productions terminal followed by non terminals terminal followed by non terminals terminal followed by non terminal terminal followed by non terminal terminal so all the productions of a1 are in gnf form only so after uh, converting into the gnf th this is nothing but the productions of a1 and this is nothing but the productions of a2 but b2 productions are not in gnf here we don't have any terminal symbol here we don't have any terminal symbol so we need to substitute a2 value here so already we have uh, uh, a2 value so substitute a2 here so b2 implies b2 implies in place of this a2 substitute all these productions okay so what is a2 0 a1 0 a1 b2 a1 b2 let us write a1 b2 as it is next what is a2 0 a1 0 a1 b2 a1 so the first one is over next to term is 1 b2 in place of this a2 substitute 1 b2 so 1 b2 a1 b2 next 1 b2 a1 next one 0 a1 0 a1 a1 b2 next 0 a1 a2 a1 next we have 1 or 1 a1 b2 1 a2 a1 so if you observe all the productions of b2 all the productions of b2 are in gnf form so this is b2 production so after converting into the gnf the productions are so you need to write a1 production a2 production and b2 production in this way we can convert uh, uh, a context free grammar into the gnf